Mesopotamia was located in what is now the country of Iraq. The Mesopotamians were actually many different groups of people that lived in this area over thousands of years. These groups of people made up some of the world's first civilizations. This is an Sumer. He created 
certain about when the oil was invented, the earliest known one was found at the state of Kish, a Sumerian city-state that existed more than 5,000 years ago. The wheel is one of the most important inventions, one of the world's most important inventions. It changed daily life for ancient people and made it easier to travel, farm, and shape clay and pottery. You can see a little snippet here from the standard of her, but like, imagine being the guy that invented the wheel and like rolling up in the marketplace and something like this and people so fast. What's happening? The fastest man alive. It would have been wild, right? But let's get back into history and read about the Assyrian Empire. The Assyrian Empire began in northern Mesopotamia more than 3,000 years ago in about 1100 BCE. The Assyrians were fierce warriors and conquered much of the Fertile Crescent over time. They were also great artists who created sculptures and wall carvings. Typically, Assyrian art showed battle scenes and images of rulers with gods. You can see a stone here from the Assyrians. The Babylonian Empire. The Babylonian Empire was located in southern Mesopotamia and had two periods of greatness. The first began around 1790 BCE when a king named Hammurabi under Hammurabi, all of these separate cities were again united into one empire. The capital city of Babylon became the center of the entire Fertile Crescent. The Babylonians traded with faraway places. They were skilled sky watchers and mathematicians. The Babylonians also wrote long stories about their city and its history. Eventually, the first Babylonian empire declined or fell. But a thousand years later, a second Babylonian empire called New Babylonia began. New Babylonia's greatest emperor was Nebuchadnezzar II, who rebuilt the city of Babylon. The walls and gates of the rebuilt city were so famous that even the ancient Greeks wrote about them. Here's the top of the coat of Hammurabi, which was a stella that had all of the laws created. Here's a timeline of Mesopotamia. It says around 4000 BCE, Uruk was built. 2100 BCE, the Sumerian civilization reached its height. 1200 BCE, the Assyrian Empire becomes more powerful. And 625 to 539 BCE, New Babylonia rules Mesopotamia. I just remembered when I was in sixth grade in history class, so that would have been when I was about 11 or 12. I thought Babylon was like the ugliest name. I thought it was, I was like baby lawn. It's so weird, but now I think it's all right. Now I have no opinion. I was a hater back then. Let's read about an ancient world wonder. The hanging gardens of Babylon were built by Nebuchadnezzar II for his wife Amethyst. Amethyst wasn't from Babylon and missed the mountains and green plants of her homeland, Media, which is now a part of Iran. So Nebuchadnezzar II built her a spectacular garden on the flat plains of Mesopotamia. And here's what it probably would have looked like if it was real, because we don't have any proof that it actually existed other than Greek stories talking about it. So I like to think it was real, but there's nothing left of it. There's no proof of it ever existing. Life in Mesopotamia. Archaeologists have learned about life in ancient Mesopotamia by studying artifacts, including pottery, artwork, and writing found on clay or stone tablets. Today, archaeologists are still searching the ruins of ancient cities and trying to find artifacts from different Mesopotamian civilizations. This is this, a statue of King Ornamu, who ruled in Sumer. is 